Hi there people, my name is Daryl Leslie Garlander and my spiritual gifts is that my almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Holy Spirit, hath anointed me to be a evangelist, pastor, preacher. So, so my God, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, wants me to expose the so-called office of the health of Vazman. Now, <coughs> I believe that they have become corrupted, uh, deceiving, and scammers. I'm going to be proving it. Now, in this recording, you'll see how the office of the health of Buzzman are uh, scammers. <coughs> I believe they're stealing money from the government by not doing their job. That is why they're, they're scammers, the office of the health of Buzzman scammers. <coughs> now, uh, let's go into why I believe that the Office of the Health Ombudsman are scammers and some of them will resort to fraud, committing fraud. <coughs> Let's go into it shall we? Now, I'm reading half some of what the so-called delegates has sent to me no official name of the person and no signature. I've had another delegate come to me with a decision in an email to me with the name and signature and titled delegate. Delegate. Yeah, delegate. Sorry, it's delegate. And so. Uh, <coughs> there was a decision made by the Scamming Health Ombudsman on the 30th of May 2018 this year. Now, under where it's got decision, it's got reasons for the decision, section 44, 1, but then further down it has uh, 3, 4, so it numbers it from 1 to 4. So I'm just going to go and discuss about part section 4. The scammer from the health scamming ombudsman said, I consider that the complainant is lacking in substance because I, uh, this is section B, so I've just read the four part, but I'm going to read section B. Uh, I do not consider the practitioner's re registration if a different jurisdiction demonstrates his registration in Australia is inaccurate, inappropriate or based on false information. The, uh, the practitioner is required to demonstrate he is suitable, qualified to obtain obtain specialist registration and that process is managed by ARCRA. So <coughs> I went and printed the form out of the of Health Ombudsman Act 2013. So I've gone to section 44 decision to take no further action on a matter and uh, They put section 44.1a of the Act provides that the health ombudsman may decide to take no further action on a health service complaint or other matter if the health ombudsman reasonably considers the complaint is lacking in substance. Now, for the part 1 
It states, at any time the health ombudsman may decide to take no further action on a health service complaint or other matter if the health ombudsman reasonably, reasonably considers the complaint or other matter is, is F-R-I-V-O-L-O-U-S, vexatious, trivial or not made in good faith or is misconceived or lacking in substance. So I've just read some of it. But you notice, this is the legal re legal documents. So you notice when they are, when they are written, they did not put the word at any time in their feedback to me and they practically uh, did not put put down misconceived it or yeah misconceived it. Uh, so some of it's different if they were to apply the section that's under their legislation, then it will be worded how I worded it from here, from their legislation. Health Ombudsman Act 2013, Part 4, Health Complaints and Other Matters are dealt with. And so, uh, I practically did a secret uh, surveillance recording on one of the scam and health ombudsman employees. Her name is Ingrid and she practically refutes and uh, contradicts what the scammer, the delegate has stated where the delegate has said I do not consider the practitioner's reg registration if a different jurisdiction demonstrates whose registration in Australia is inaccurate, inappropriate or based it on false information. The practitioner is required to demonstrate he is suitable, suitable qualified to obtain specialist registration and that process is managed by APRA. So, the person by the name of Ingrid practically uh, says yes and practically proves that they the, uh, the, the office of the health ombudsman has jurisdiction over false practitioners and so if APRA or board of security board of, of protection which they're now uh, home affairs if they were to say look Jeremy Long is a false medical oncologist or the place of where so-called Jeremy Long claimed to get oncology and hematology from uh, the scamming health ombudsman will not, will not consider the evidence the proof and evidence uh, based it on false information which I've provided now um, <coughs> If you, if you ever wonder why Scamming Health Ombudsman has became scammers is because on their form that I print, printed, the complaints form, you've got to be careful to what you sign to because when you sign you consent to what they say. Now, I noticed something that is fraudulent that they go and say and do. On their complaints form, they put, what would you like to happen to resolve your complaint? With a question mark, and then they list a few things like apology, compensation, discipline, disciplinary action, other details, refund, policy, hyphen, process, change, explanation, acknowledgement. They say, we will try to help you and your health service provider resolve your complaint. We have no powers to enforce an outcome 
but as an independent agency we decide when a complaint has been adequately considered here are some important things to keep in mind this is where your eyes need to be open spirit of wise spirit discernment between truth and error is you need to really think here because when I read it I'm like nah I'm not signing this because as soon as I get it it's consent to and I'm not consenting to false information they say we don't take sides we don't lay blame or we or award compensation so I'll say that again they say we don't take sides we don't lay blame or award compensation but yet they, they say compensation is tick for compensation if you tick for compensation they won't do it if if you tick for disciplinary action they won't take sides or lay blame see it's just false false and misleading and I understand why the scam and health ombudsman has uh, done it to other people you look out their reviews online and you, you look at their reviews they've got nine reviews and they're going to get number ten I'll be leaving a review on their website exposing their dark side their lawless wicked sins their, their evil wicked lawless lawlessness and so let's listen to Ingrid I'll put her on let's have a listen to her Yes. Okay, would you like me 
to do that? Or? Yes, thank you. proven that uh, the de de basically the delegate has jurisdiction to take action if a uh, practitioner's regis registration uh, is in is inaccurate inappropriate or based on false information so I mean I have proved it time and time again how Jeremy E L I A S Harry Long is a false medical oncologist and <coughs> the Scamming Health Ombudsman Service is not wanting to take action. They're not wanting to refer the matter. But yet they say uh, practitioner is required to demonstrate he is suitable qualified to obtain specialist registration and that process is managed needed by ARPA. But yet ARPA gets back to me and <coughs> implies, proves that Jeremy Long uh, and DR Lendy, which is Mark David Lendy, uh, basically <coughs> has um, breached the national law and that APRO said imply that OHO will consider it and look what OHO is not doing they're not considering it APRO won't take action at the time because they're waiting on OHO to give them the thumbs up yeah it's true true and accurate but yet ARPA already knows it so <coughs> there you have it the scamming health ombudsman cannot be trusted and the health minister needs to intervene and sort out the mess because there are a lot of hurting people out there I'm not the only one but I'm making it my my ambition and my motive to expose the wickedness, I mean total dark secret sins of the scamming health ombudsman services because God, my God, the Lord Jesus Christ hath anointed me to do so. And uh, in, I'll grab a scripture to prove it.
in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 to verse 11 Let no man deceive you with vain words for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience Be not ye therefore partakers with them for ye were sometimes darkness but now are ye light in the Lord walk as children of light for the fruit for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth proving what is acceptable unto the Lord and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them so in verse 6 of Ephesians 5 verse 6 let no man deceive you with vain words for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience <coughs> and so um, So I'm just going to tell you what Arthur sent to me. Okay. Dear Mr. Garland, we have read your emails dated 18th May, 19th May and 21st May 2018 and we understand that your concerns are about the conduct of health practitioners and the treatments provided to your father, Mr. Leslie Garland, Leslie Garland, while he was in care at Sunshine Coast Hospital in Queensland, the types, the type of complaints you have made are handled by the Office of the Health Ombudsman OHO under Part Eight of the National Law. You can get more information about how to make a complaint in Queensland at then they've provided the link because the OHO will consider your concerns APRA does not pr propose to take any further action at this stage in relation to DR Jeremy E-L-I-A-S Harry Long and DR Mark Lindy then they go we have considered it whether any of the conduct you have alleged it could be considered under the offence provisions in part 7 of the national law however these provisions broadly speaking relates to unregistered persons and as the practitioners you have mentioned it are registered that part won't be relevant regards APRA national legal <coughs> There you go. So Arthur has practically stated, more or less implied, Jeremy Long, Mark Lendy, which is Mark David Lendy, they're part of the registration in uh, being registered. That part won't be relevant. They have it. Arthur has seen some of the evidence. There's more. There's a lot of evidence there. And um, and so, yeah, uh, I advise people to share this uh, because it's very important because there's a lot of angry people out there um, that are righteously angry with the Scamming Health Ombudsman Service. And so, go read up about the reviews. There's nine reviews in total. I'll be making a review and I'll be exposing and letting people know how to deal with the Scamming Health Ombudsman Service and I will be sending this recording to the Scamming Health Ombudsman 
shaming them. It's time to shame them because they're abusing not only me but other people and they should be named and shamed of their criminal activities because it is criminal. They can't prove